hey guys uh it's your boy keys uh i'm gonna put up this is step by step to uh, uh about uh, getting your first cryptocurrency or how to buy your cryptocurrency on this uh, binance uh, platform and binance is one of the world leading uh, cryptocurrency exchange platforms you can get cryptocurrency and especially now it's favorable uh, to uh, countries having this a uh, regulatory ban on a uh, using a uh, uh, trading on cryptocurrency via their bank account let's say for nigerians can easily utilize this platform to do their with their exchange uh, uh peer-to-peer exchange uh, 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 abilities or peer-to-peer exchange option to trade and get credited now i just bought uh ordered for a crypto coin for a cryptocurrency on this account on my account on binance and this is the first time we, we are we are buying on this particular account so we just bought and we got credited it took time for us it was not instant because we did it at the we did it very early so I, i'm looking at the client we the vendor we purchased from was i think it was was not available but what you've been needing now for this whole procedure on the binance application because Binance is very trusted, it's reliable. Uh, I'll be putting you through with time on this video. Uh, what you'll be needing, this uh, on my on my screen here, you can see my Zenith mobile bank account. That's my uh, mobile app. Then comment call my credit card. You can get information there about cryptocurrency news, updates, trends, and so many things. You go over to Play Store. You can go over to Play Store and download this Binance application. You can go over to Play Store and click on so i'm opening my play store application now click on binance binance is available on ios device on, on, on all devices just click on it download it if you have any issues signing up with your binance application if you have any signing up with the binance application on your phone because it might deal, uh, it might it might not be compatible with uh, some people's version or on rare, rare cases here yeah, because most people utilize the uh, latest versions now so the thing is that if you are unable i think i'm having some network issues this thing is not loading just go over click on the search button search for the binance application now what the next step we need to do now is like once you've downloaded it or you can go over to your chrome browser your chrome browser when you get to your chrome browser click on uh, binance binance just type type the word binance there type the word binance binance once you type the word binance i think you should uh, if you have a faster network this thing should load faster than uh, what mine is doing here and you can also what, what i recommend most times is so opt for the desktop version desktop version you can go click on this search button and click on this desktop icon to, it will give you the desktop and uh, version or desktop search results for this uh, this uh, uh, Binance Binance so you can make your registrations on this platform make your registration there complete your KYC your verification and everything you need to do I'll be dropping the link for direct link of Binance uh, Binance on the link below it's going to give you a discount on, on your on your deposit on this account when you have two coins it will give you a discount so okay um the it's loading now you can see one small, small issue so once you go there just that's it yeah, that's at the top on the link that's up on the but once once you just click on the balance it should it should open create a, create a free account and follow the procedure so now let's let's go back so we think that if any question, any difficulties just drop it on the comment section we'll get we'll get back to you but a quick survey of how i bought my how i bought what is a i've lost in Can we up to five minutes or ten minutes? It's very, very all you need to do just put your name, user name, your name, address, uh, complete the verification code, verify your email address and your uh, phone number. Then 
what again application is loading then do official verification that's it as in the official verification does release that most people have issues with because sometimes your network and your phone camera fish uh, front camera might not be compatible but honestly, it's very okay for you to do it very it doesn't take time just go to where a place that is a uh, elevated that has lights lights so, so that they can be able to see your the uh, camera the the your face can be detected by the camera by the, uh, for facial verification so my that now that's what is you mind you for new beginners this uh you won't be seeing this for new beginners what you might be seeing most uh, mostly when you log in is that you will see your you see you will use a light version so this is the pro version this is the pro version that has these in volumes of get straight future it's the version click on click on these more options it should take you to it will show you a menu where you can get information you can get information if you're interested in currency game see the prices of Bitcoin, bnb then this more button it should show you or everything you need to you need to see on this option we show you about a uh, transfer deposit orders to p and uh, so for this tutorial we're using our p2p option we're using our p2p option we're using our p2p option so i'm going to click on this my icon here my dashboard icon for you to, to review my the uh to stay this account so you can see here my account is showing verified already showing verified already and it's saying binance light so we bought a bnb on this account so when you buy bnb you get a discount and can use it you utilize the discount in your transaction so you can put your payment method you can scroll down put your payment method and put, put your security but the security is uh, is not composed you complete all the security options just do the basic ones for your payment option you can uh, link it to your bank uh, uh, to your ATM card or you link it with you just put your bank transfer so it's not compulsory that you need to link it with your ATM card for now you can just put your uh, payment method in uh, buying in these particular procedures you know so now let me show you I'm going going over to my wallet going over to my wallet so if you want to buy what you, what you need to do once you've logged in click on uh, enter the Binance Pro uh, for the to so that you'll be able to show they will show you the uh what they call it the uh, uh p2p option so now this is the p2p option uh this is my overview of my of my wallet i think initially i didn't have any any money here but it's showing that my sports wallet there's no, it's nothing here zero btc zero btc but on my p2p wallet i have about 0 0.0032 btc's so that's about nineteen dollar. Is what nineteen dollar. So we just bought this this morning. We just bought it this morning. So that's the net worth on this account. So I just clicked on it. When you click on this P2P option, the P2P column, it's going to tell you for if you've not done any transaction on your P2P before, everything will be on zero basis. It will be your equity value will be, will be nil, zero figures. So there there's nothing there's nothing that will be there. So you can see here that we bought a zero point zero three uh bnb and that's uh, if you check the value for that you i think you you should be you will be able to see it. so if you want to buy bitcoin buy ethereum buy uh i think I, I, I highly recommend you buy you start with either uh bitcoin bnb or ethereum those are my top three on my top three list then most especially you can go for the cheap ones especially this dodge coin that is going uh, that is getting high now but it is not available here so you can swap it in a you can you can easily do a swap or so you can easily do a swap for it so now for the bnb let's say you want to buy it. i'm sure this is my bnb p2p trading you can see the estimated value so if you want to buy once you click on this p2p once you get on this p2p what you you what you do next you click on p2p trading this p2p trading here 
we are not using the transfer we're clicking on this p2p trading so it's not it's going to show you buy or sell i use the express option that's why it just took me straight to the express option so i use the express option which is the one i usually recommend people to, because all the express option the difference in the express option on on the p2p is that the express option is faster and then uh, it's it's a monitored by uh binance so what binance does they link you with at least they try to link you with the most recommended uh, user uh, with, with the cheapest of prices with the recommended user and the cheapest cheapest of prices so that's one two two factors they uh, link you up with somebody that has a cheap price and somebody that has a high value of uh, uh, that, that the person is a uh, reliable so you don't want to buy go for cheap things and you don't want to buy from somebody that is having issues so now let me show you the p2p out i think i'll come back to that i'll come back to that so but anyway if you want to buy let's say usdt or btc what you just do these are the amounts there let's say you want to buy bnb because that's what we bought you just click on the amount say from above 1000 so let's say above 1000 so you can you can start with 2000 so it's not compulsory just start with something you can afford so let's say you buy with a um, zero fee bank transfer so you don't really need to put your atm card you're doing a bank transfer to avoid this uh, cryptocurrency ban so if you're doing a bank transfer you see the timing it's already started counting already they usually give 15 minutes they usually give 15 minutes for this uh, transaction to take hold and it said for 2000 error you will be getting 0 0.06006 BNB. 0 0.006 BNB. One thing you need to note is that you click on this transfer fund. That's when you're ready to pay. But before you do, do that, make sure you check this icon. I just go and make it. This icon saying notifications from this person called Ola Messi. She's is the person I bought from earlier on. I think the person I bought from earlier on it says that uh, what you need to know. Uh, you are successfully placed another pay within the time limit so you need to make sure you pay within this time limit of 15 15 minutes and it's already counting down so make sure you have a good internet connection now for this particular person that is receiving this transfer you need to read their terms and condition say your bank account must match with your binance name no atm transfer so you can't make this transfer on an atm card because they need you to put a, a description they need you to put a description say no quick teller transfer no standard chartered bank transfer upload a proof of your payment so make sure you use your mobile app. that's why you saw my zenith mobile app, mobile uh, uh, on my screen on my on my screen on the at the beginning of this video you, you can be able to generate your uh, what do you call it? you can be able to generate your uh, you can generate your your uh, 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 a transaction history or your payment history with transaction receipts and sending to them i'll show you i'll show you the one i sent to this particular person a while back so for if you're a registered company you need to upload your cac7 then use username for so your username let's say your username is a sexy bank or uh, john 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 millions john billions you can just that's that's the only thing you put in your description so i'll be showing you guys what, what i use for my mine so i'm going to cancel this transaction there's also an option for tutorial here you click on the tutorial then lastly before before okay the terms look these are the terms on the person saying these are the terms here then you can also use the call button if you feel like calling them if you click on this transfer the fund it will show you the account number of the person we show you the account details of the person let's say transfer the fund we are clicking on transfer the fund this is the account details of the person they are supposed to make this transfer to so what you do you just copy the account number is a kuda bank account copy the account number and you go and make the transfer if you need a tutorial you can also click on this place to watch more or see how far it goes now we are not going to do this stuff once you are done with making the transfer click on transferred then once you click on transfer it's going to tell you that you should wait that the person needs to confirm the money but there's something you need to know say the, the the following please make sure the money is transferred from an account you own 
matching your verified name so your name must verify must match because there are so many people making transfers to these particular people so they don't want an issue whereby they will credit you wrongly because getting back your money after you have been credited is usually very very hard it's usually very very hard especially when you've confirmed that uh, the person has paid you so what they, they what they tell their customers is that do not okay for when you're sending the money do not put any crypto in your description payments don't put any anything like uh, for btc payment for bitcoin for this or that so avoid using that just put your you can leave it blank your description or you put your name then once you click on this transfer nest it's going to uh, uh binance is going to remove that portion of the coin that you bought from the customer that that you bought from the seller it, it, to Binance will hold the money from the sellers look at okay see secure transaction and say that secure transaction say end-to-end -end crypto transaction so from when you make an order Binance keeps the advertisers crypto locked away until the order is completed so that you can transfer funds worry free and you can also use their customer support services if it is up to like let's say six hours or 24 hours that you've not gotten credited after you've done a transaction mind you you need to follow all these steps however you need to follow all these steps but what they need to tell you is that don't confirm any transaction that has, you've, that has not reflected to you if you've not received your deposit of your if you not received the, the the value of the coins you bought don't confirm that you received it if you've not gotten the uh, money for payments that on your bank account whenever you are selling don't confirm don't confirm that you you are uh, 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 you've gotten it so let's go back because we are not doing this transaction I see the time is already time is nine minutes already so make sure you do this thing fast it's not going to take time so I'm going to quit it say are you sure you want to leave if you have paid please be sure click paid Time remaining I confirm that I have not paid the seller I confirm that I have not paid the seller uh -huh. so we just confirm that we didn't pay the seller so that because we didn't really pay so that we don't we don't put put somebody in trouble we don't put somebody in trouble but showing so let me show you the p2p option so this p2p option is the main option that you you're going to see what this p2p option is, is is that you can check there are so many people selling selling here uh, i think there were more earlier on but i think for this usdt you can see there are two people selling here one has a higher reach rate rating one has a higher rating his rating is 98 percent that's for frankie the first one there is 73 point seventy four percent so once you it's that is recommended is that you you should go for people with a higher rating you should go for people with a higher rating don't go for cheap articles because you can be scammed you can be scammed however finance will always try and make sure that uh the we told the coin the amount we told the amount for you they we told the amount for you so sometimes too it might not really be that because it's cheap article or so but you can see that both users are verified so you can go for anyone so this person is selling his own at about 600 naira and this person is selling his own about 1140 naira so the, the first person bobby bobby shown bobo has done 3370 trades so is is he might be in need of money urgently and he wants to sell at a very cheap rate so he just needs somebody that will buy it from from him so you can decide to make that purchase and buy from them this other person it may it maybe does not need the money urgently he just wants to so that's the way it works so if you want to buy bnb let's say you want to buy bnb this you can come here look for the seller you want to buy and there's something you need to know each of them they have limits they have limits their prices are different so you check the prices this, this is if you want to uh, uh, select a particular person and buy from that person you can see all our messy here the person we uh, we're trying to buy from his own is not really the cheapest his own is not really the cheapest but is uh, one of the most recommended ones i think this person's own is cheap fs bix is, is the cheapest we have here so if you feel that the offer 
express is giving express option is giving you is not really the cheapest you can come over here and make use of the option but mind you the limit is something that that you need to take note of this fsb is limit is from 200,000 to 5 million naira so that's why his price is like that so he needs only people that are going to buy a minimum of 200,000 naira worth of bnb so don't go and send 20,000 or 5,000 naira to somebody's that is is or a limit is higher than that it will just make the whole process be strenuous for you where the, you might have to reverse your money or it might take longer process or you might even lose your money that's that's one thing you need to know. disclaimer you might lose your money big time or you might be stressed before you get it back so you need to follow instructions Ola Messi, this customer here this a, a vendor here is selling from 1000 naira to 887 naira 1000 naira to 887 naira so just check the limits of the people involved and then uh, you can utilize this fitter option fitter option will help you help you more let's say you want to do a bank transfer with this p2p option and you want to make a bank transfer of 5000 naira 5000 naira or let's say 2000 naira because you need to spend what you can afford then the payment option that you're looking for you are looking for people that are accepting only bank transfer if you have nigeria fiat naira fiat balance on your binance bnb account you can utilize it if you are using looking for people that are using only kuda bank you can use it or wechat or cheaper cash you can utilize it so let's say for this tutorial we're using bank transfer only so once you click on it you press yes and this 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 screen should reload okay so you can see now it just reloaded so these are the list of people you see their limits these are the list of people with the limits of uh, from 2000 era so this person is from 1000 era to 6000 era second person Ola Messi 1000 to 800 and something thousand 1000 to 7000 era so what you should know is that the percentage rating and the number of trades the people have done you should always put it in consideration make sure you go for people that have done more trade are more experienced and people that have a good rating and people that you uh their limits tallies with what you want to do so for this the cheaper ones are always at the top so i'm going to click on this my notification button i think once you click on it you can see say pending payment this pending payment is not it's not something i need to cancel this payment so you can see here uh today's date is 0508 that's for may 8 may 8 5 11 5 11 i'm going to click on this one that is saying completed this one that is saying completed these other ones are cancelled these other ones are cancelled i didn't put you with this transaction so i'm going to click on this one this is the one we bought today we bought this uh bnb today that's our, uh, our wallet and it says that order completed you successfully purchased uh, 0 0.030 BMB. So once you, I, I, I we did it, and we even left a positive feedback for Ola Messi to encourage her, Ola, uh, encourage him or her. I think that also. Then you can see our chat here. I'm going to click on the icon for our chat on what transpired between us. So this is our chat here. Uh, I started the transaction 5:11. That was early hours of the of the day. 5 11 that's about 5 in the morning 5 a.m uh so he sent the i got this message upload a valid proof of payment no start no see it for cac people and that's when say no crypto related where they don't want you to see you now on the description you put a uh for crypto payment don't 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 put it like that so 5 11 uh, he sent me that message and 5 21 you have been marked you have marked the order as paid so I marked the order as paid 521. Take note, take note that I did it within the time frame. So make sure that you do it within the 15 minutes time frame that was given to you. So please wait for seller to confirm the release of the asset. So the seller needs to confirm their own end. So meanwhile, I sent him a message that sent Aki is that's my uh, uh, username as description amount 10,000 naira. So I'm going to pull up the screenshot that so you see. So 5:35, he didn't reply. 5:43, he didn't reply too. That's about like it took me about 
almost an hour for me to be credited for that transaction because it was very early in the morning and i think the vendor was uh, sleeping i think i think it should be so so i'm trying to load this uh, narration from my uh, mobile my bank in uh, my, my bank so, so so i think i'm trying to see see it but it's not coming up it's not coming up but on my narration you see hello okay i think i'm, I'm going to try and bring up that uh, stock but you said your payment has been received so i received the payment at about 6 43 the asset bnb will be sent to your account that was when i received the payment so let's say when you are done you want to send proof of payment you just go over to your photo over to your photo go over to your photo and look for what for a photo and look for So hey guys, uh, this is the this is the uh, so guys this is the uh, uh, transaction receipt I sent to the vendor for the ten thousand naira. So you can see my narration here is bearing Aki's beneficiary. That's the name of the account. That's his own Kuda Bank from Zenit to Kuda Bank. So that was how we did it. So that's how it basically works. So you can go back and do. So thereafter, I got a message on my phone that i also got an email that my wallet has been credited so hey guys i hope you okay uh -huh. so this for the one we cancelled yeah that it should be cancelled as for the okay this 2000 we are trying to work on it's cancelled it should be cancelled i think time limit just expired so guys just go over complete your verification kyc everything Go to the uh, Binance Pro version. Go to the Binance Pro version and uh, go to your P2P trading wallet. That's must have been after you've uh, added your payment option. But if you've not added the payment, you can also add it on your process. Then you, uh, what again? Then you put through with buying any cryptocurrency, any amount you want to buy. You can. Utilize, let's say, for you can just pay like 2000 naira and buy up to like five of them. Then you can also swap them for other cryptocurrencies. So, guys, watch out for our next video where we'll be dropping more updates on how to get other cryptocurrencies and and swapping tutorials on this uh, Binance platform. So, hey guys, I hope this video has been helpful to you, has been uh, educative. Cheers, one love. Click on the subscribe button and drop your comments. Peace out, I keep.